Welcome back. Well, we are closer to the weekend than we have been all week, and I'm joined with Nick. He's with Glenville State College's Bluegrass Band. You all have been working on your homecoming event, yep. and that is this Saturday. Tell me, what does this homecoming event have in store? Yeah, so October 19th, you know, that's our the homecoming for Glenville State uh -huh. College. And so we usually plan our homecoming concert around the homecoming football game. And this year we're having Larry Gillis and the Hard Driving Swamp Grass Band there to help support us, and we're going to open up for him. Oh, awesome! Yeah, so we're going to have a dinner, kind of catering to his lifestyle. From he's from South Georgia. Okay. Which he'll tell you is kind of its own state. <laughs> exactly, their own way of life down yeah, there. Yeah, own way of life for sure. So we're going to have a jambalaya dinner from five till seven, and then uh, doors open at six to the arena. And then the show is going to start at seven. Well, awesome. Now you're a part of the bluegrass program yep. at Glenville State College. Yes, ma'am. Now, what do a lot of people maybe not know about bluegrass, and what does this homecoming event kind of remind people about the genre? Well, you know, the thing about Glenville bluegrass is we really focus on traditional bluegrass. Uh -huh. And Larry Gillis and, and his brother, they had a, a very traditional bluegrass sound in the 80s and 90s and he's kind of went off and, and kind of created his own brand of bluegrass music called swamp grass so we kind of like to highlight the, the different subgenres inside the, the, the main genre of bluegrass and that's kind of what we're going to be doing. Well that's awesome. Well it's not that often that people, young people yeah. can um, kind of have a genre of music that applies to people of all ages. This is appropriate for kids as well, right? Oh, absolutely. 100% G-rated. That's one thing that we like to yeah. really take pride in is being able to give back to the youth and, and kind of teach and, and let them learn just as we did when we were young. And Because that's the only way to keep the music alive is, you know, it's an oral tradition and by ear playing music. So you got to definitely teach the youth to keep it going. <laughs> that is so right. Well, and then if your kids are under five, they get them free. Yep, yep. Anyone over five, ten dollars. Ten dollars. And then the jambalaya dinner is going to be eight dollars, and that's going to be a totally different price. So yeah. it's if you want to just come and eat the dinner, you're more than welcome to do that. And then Sounds you, like this weekend at Glenville State, you can get football, you can get a homecoming event, yep, you can get music, yep. everything's there. It's going to be a, a big weekend for sure. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Nick. Now, if you missed any of that, which you might have, you can find all the details on our website, wboy.com. Scott Sinkoff joins us next with a check on our forecast.